well so as i was talking about minimizing sum of squares of errors beta not beta 1 are your population parameters which are unknown and we want to estimate these parameters by using sample data what is ordinary least square ordinary least square basically minimizes the average square difference between the actual values of y and the predicted value based on the estimated line so as i mentioned earlier yes so these are your observed values these are your predicted values these are your residuals if you take their square these are called sum of squares why do we minimize sum of squares instead of just sum of residuals please think over it we'll discuss in the class no is calculation uh, jo calculus hai main isko ignore kar raha hu main isko is waqt omit kar raha hu main aapko in practice bataunga ki ye aapne kaise karna hai using data calculus aap do it at your own Uh, you, you, uh, we have already discussed this in our previous video last part now once you have basically applied ordinary least square we got best guess for intercept and slope equal to minus 0.2 2.28 and 698.9 means if you use any values other than these two values for intercept and slope your sum of squares of residuals will not be as small as by using these two values what is their interpretation let's see if you reduce class size by 1 test score of students improves by 2.28 units or in other words if you increase class size by 1 test score increase by 2.2 a decrease by 2.28 units means smaller the class size better test score larger the class size poorer the, the test score so more poor are the test scores change in test score due to change in class size hmm let's see ah that's interesting 698.9 what does this mean that if your class size is 0 average test score will be 698.9 interesting <coughs> wow wow so please keep in it in mind that intercept many a times has no economic meaning it has no practical meaning why is it included there are some three technical reasons to make some of residuals equal to 0 regression line passes through means and so on so class size 0 intercept is 698 have you ever seen a class size equal to 0 so please avoid interpreting intercept where you can if these variables are in deviation form you can watch my, one of my video on interpreting intercepts on the same channel but they are not those videos are uh, that video is not listed in this uh, 
playlist. So, now if for example we have a district having test score 658.7 and class size 19.3 around here. Here. So, you see, observed value is 19.33 and 657.8. But what is predicted value? Predicted value is your this blue line. No, for this 19.33. Our predicted value is 698.9 minus 2.28 into 19.33, 654.8. So you see this is 654.8, this is 657.8, no, there is a gap between these two, there is a gap between these two, 654 is here. 657 is blue line so here your predicted value y hat that is less than your actual value so residual uh, 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 yeah, am I saying this correctly yes your actual value observed value is larger than your predicted value so your residual is positive these residuals are positive these, the, the, uh, which are above the line and for values which are below the line residuals are negative why don't we minimize sum of residuals because any large and any small residual extremely large or small residual can make sum equal to zero but otherwise line is not a good fit so we make sum of squares of residuals uh, a minimization for this you can you can uh, take any basic book to understand why we minimize some of res uh, some of squares of residuals instead of some of residuals so these are your results this is an output but no on video 1 and video 2 the concept we have discussed I shall demonstrate in practice in our workshop on these two videos so you have to replicate that in that when I'll, I'll uh, produce these results for you uh, and you will produce these results for yourself then I shall explain what is R square, what is root mean square error, what are these standard errors and we shall also explain these things theoretically uh, some, some you see uh, some basic concepts uh, in equation forms. Uh, thank you for watching and now our next task will be to play with this data and to produce these tables.